Basketball. You sure are buying a lot of stuff. It's all the equipment I need for basketball. What do you need besides a ball and a hoop? All good players have a good pair of shoes. That makes three things. You should also wear comfortable clothes when you play. What about all the candy you're buying? A player has to stay energized. I don't think it's good to run on sugar. Then I'll eat it while I'm watching the basketball game. Are you watching it on television? Yes, there's a big game on Sunday. Badminton. I want to try out for the tennis team. Our school doesn't have a tennis team. Yes, it does. They were practicing after school yesterday. Were they using a birdie? Of course not. That'd be animal abuse. A birdie is a plastic red-nosed tool for badminton. Oh, I see. Yes, they were using a red tool. Then the sport you saw was definitely badminton. Is that also why the rackets were so small and thin? Yes, it's w somewhat similar to tennis, though. Well, in that case, I want to join the badminton team. I wish you the best of luck. Baseball. Do you like baseball? I've never watched a game. You've never even seen it on television. I don't own a television set. We should go watch a game one day. Where can we watch a baseball game? In a baseball stadium. There are entire stadiums just for playing baseball. Yes, they even wrote a song about it. I never knew it was such a popular sport. Do you want to go play catch in the park? Sounds good to me. Boxing. What happened to your eye? I was punched in the eye. You got into a fight? Yes, but it's all right. I don't think fighting is okay. I was fighting in a boxing match. Are you taking boxing lessons? Yes, I go every evening. Have you ever fought in a competition? Yes, but I didn't make it to the finals. Well, maybe you should wait until your eye heals to compete again. I definitely will. It's hard to box with only one eye open. Track racing. I'm so sore from running. Maybe you've been practicing too hard. I want to do well on the big race next week. After all that practicing, you'll be too tired to run. I won't. I'm trying to get faster though. You're pretty fast. I feel like my grandma can run faster than me. You just have to believe in yourself, and you'll do well. I always get nervous before races. Maybe you should run distance races instead. Do you really think I have a good endurance? Of course. Otherwise, you couldn't train this hard. Cycling. Do you like my new bicycle? It looks very sporty. It's a racing bike. I bought it so I could be in the in the triathlon. Wow, I hear triathlons are difficult. You have to train hard for them. Are triathlons always based on the same three sports? Yes, they are cycling, running, and swimming. It's so exciting! I'll be sure to watch you compete. It's not a competition against others. It's not. No one can win first place. You can, but I just want to prove to myself I can do it. I'm sure you can. I'll even sponsor you in the race. Snowboard. That skateboard doesn't have any wheels. That's not a skateboard. Oh, is it a surfboard then? No, that's a snowboard. It's amazing how similar yet different those three sports are. They all take a lot of practice and dedication. I think I'd like snowboarding best. Why do you like it most? When you wipe out, you fall in fluffy white snow. That does sound better than falling on concrete. It's also better than drowning in the ocean. Snowboards are the best kind of board in my book. Hockey. This is a weird-looking golf club. That's not a golf club. What is it then? It's a hockey stick. Is hockey the game the men play on ice?
Yes, it is. It's a difficult game. It reminds me a lot of soccer. I think hockey is more difficult than soccer. Why do you think that? Well, you have to skate. Soccer is just kicking. I think there is more to it than that. Either way, I'd be terrible at both. Roller rinks. Our skates are so different. What do you mean? Your wheels are all in a line, and mine are not. Oh, that's because these are roller blades. They look difficult to use. They just go a little faster. Our skates show our differences in personality. Why are you saying that? Yours are sharp and sporty, but mine are cute and practical. I'll try to take that as a compliment. Anyways, let's go back to skating. Let's go. Not like a real sport. What are those men doing with brooms? I think those are special brushes. Are they going to clean the ice? It looks like this is some kind of sport event. Look, they're sweeping in front of that rock. The internet said that the sport is called curling. It doesn't seem like a real sport to me. Me either. All they do is throw the rocks. How did this sport make it into the Olympics? I don't know, but I think it's boring. Should I change the channel? I wouldn't mind if you did. Watching soccer games. You've been watching a lot of soccer lately. There's a different game shown every day. That's because of the World Cup. Everyone is talking about it all the time. Have you watched every single game? No, I only watch the really important teams. How do you choose which teams are important? Well, I cheer for the countries my parents are from. What other teams do you cheer for? Well. This country's team, of course. How do you choose from all other teams? That's easy. I cheer for the one with the cutest players. Sports shop. I've never been in a sports shop before. I love looking at all of the equipment. Everything is so colorful and new. It's so that players can personalize their equipment. There are so many different sports I've never heard of before. They have sports stuff from all over the world. I feel like I want to try harder in sports now. Why do you have that feeling? That way, I'll know how to use all of this equipment. For now, I think it's best to stick to the basics. I agree, but being in here still makes me excited. Me too, especially when there's a sale. Dodgers fan. Great shirt. Go Dodgers. It's great to find a fellow fan. Do you think we have a chance at winning this year? Of course, the coach will not let us down. Have you ever been to an actual game? I try to go to at least one every season. What's it like? It's a great experience. Children love going to the stadium. Maybe I'll take my son to a game. Just keep an eye out for flying balls. I'd be more worried about cavities from sweets. It's just a baseball game. You're supposed to pig out. Playing hockey. Do you like sports? Of course I do. Awesome. What's your favorite one? Hockey. It's the best sport there is. It's too violent for me. I've heard a lot of people say that. Yes. It looks dangerous. Not really. I've been playing for five years, and I'm okay. Is that why you're missing your front teeth? Yes, but it's not that bad. It looks painful. A little. Everything else about hockey is fun. Cool, but I'll stick to golf. Soccer M O M. Hi, you're David's mom, aren't you? Yes, I am. Do I know you from somewhere? I'm James's mom. They play on the same team. That's right. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Will David be playing in the big game on Saturday? I'm afraid not. He's fighting a cold. That's terrible. A bug has been going around. He missed a lot of school, though. I see. I'll I'll ask David to deliver his homework. 
That would be a great help. Thank you. It's no problem at all. Caught a cold. I think I'm going to head home. Already? It's only midday. I think I have a fever. That's terrible. Does your head hurt? Yes, it's killing me. You should go home if you're not feeling well. I'm going to tell the boss that I'm leaving early. I'm sure he will understand. On the way home, I'll pick up some soup. Make sure to drink lots of fluids. I will. Thank you. I hope you feel better soon. Emergency kit. Ow, that really hurts. Are you all right? What happened? I accidentally cut myself. Is it very deep? I don't think so, but it hurts a lot. You should disinfect it. I don't have anything with me. Here, use this ointment. Do you always carry that with you? Yes, along with some bandages. That's a very good idea. Perhaps you should do the same. Running a fever. I think David is running a fever. What should we do? His parents are not here. I don't want to give him anything he shouldn't take. How do we know what dose is all right for him? We should call the local pharmacy. Can they help us? They're not doctors. I'm sure they can. It's worth a try. What's the number? It's here on this receipt. Thank you. Can you call his parents? What should I say? We need to let him know he is feeling sick.